Welcome back to another Skywars episode. Uh, I happen to hate this map. They just added it recently. I hate it. I hate it with every ounce of my being. It is the worst map I've ever seen. Probably ever. It's it's just it's just a bad map, okay? It's just a really, really bad map. So we're gonna go straight to the middle. Alright, so anyway, uh today I wanted to talk about magpies. I'm a big fan of magpies. They're like one of my favorite birds in existence. Like, did you know that magpies will actually hold funerals for their dead? And you're out of here. I'm immediately distracted with like what I was trying to say. Nope. Hey, you look like a cyborg. That's pretty cool skin. <laughs> I feel a little bit overpowered right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, all right. Sharpness. There we go. That's what we wanted in life. Can I merge these? Where's the anvil? I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. And you're over here. Whoa, are you... F How are you doing that? You are a speedy boy! You are a speedy boy! Did you want to hear about magpies? Does anyone want to hear about magpies? Nobody wants to hear about magpies. Want to hear about magpies? About magpies? Say yes. No? <laughs> no? I'll wait. I'll wait to shoot them. They're just hovering. They're just, uh, they're just goofing off. <laughs> and I win. But they'll cover the bodies up with, like, debris and whatnot, and scientists are like, oh, it's probably to try to to try to protect it from predators or something. What I wanted to talk about is actually the story of the Magpie Bridge. So the Magpie Bridge is a pretty, pretty cool thing. Yeah, no, whoa. How did I win that? How did I win that? No. Ah, you too. Ah, anyone else? Who else is here? Who else wants it? Come on. Oh my God, that was terrifying. Nope. Ah! The Magpie Bridge. So the Magpie Bridge is a constellation, all right? So I, I was really into stars when I was younger, and this is basically also about stars, okay? It's a pretty cool set of constellations. It's like this belt across, I think it was the Milky Way? Hi. I see you. I think it's about the Milky Way. I don't really... I, my memory is a little bit hazy. It's been a long time since I read this story, but the lore behind the Magpie Bridge differs from area to area to area. But uh, the one... I'm, so I'm going to tell you the one that I particularly red and it starts off uh the main character is like this this lady who's really good at weaving and i forget what her name is uh and i i feel like giving her a fake name would just do damage to her character so we're not gonna give her a fake name but she's the lady who can weave and she's very cool okay everyone likes this lady I fell into the void like a professional. I'm good at this game. Now, this lady's father was like the king of the heavens or something, all right? At least in the lore that I read, okay? Before anyone tries to correct me, it's just in the lore I read, all right? <laughs> so her father was like the king of the heavens, and he he was a pretty sturdy dude. Like, he he was like, no, things must be this way, and if they're not this way, then they are sad, and, and everyone else will have to be sad as well, all right? So it had to follow his rules, or like, no rules. And one of his rules, ooh. I like those things. Um, one of his rules was that like she had to get married to like someone fancy, but then she met this uh she met this guy who herded cows and she fell in love with him because he was just so cool. Oh my god, he herded cows. So anyway, they fell in love. The solution was to fall in love, and they did. They did. Oh, that didn't work. Uh you got low health. And I got it. They fell in love and everything was like fine and dandy and like fancy, you know? Oh, fire aspect. That's way better. That is. Yeah. Take some damage. Ooh. Ah, 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 ah. 
Well, because this dude wasn't super important, because all he did was like herd cows, uh, when she went to her father and she was like, Father, I love this cow herder. Can we please get married? Her father was like, no, what are you talking about? That's the worst idea I've heard in my life. No, get out of here. And then and then she was just really sad. And so uh, she decided she was going to stay with him anyway, because who wouldn't? Who wouldn't decide that, right? Like, just come on. And I'm running away. But they decided to keep meeting anyway, and her father was not happy with that. So he declared it like law that they were not allowed to see each other anymore. And then and then he had them like separated so they couldn't like they didn't even get the chance to to meet up with each other. OK, it was just like a constant forever. They will never get out of here. Yeah, do I get points for that? I do get points for that. What? That was so much damage. Basically, if they were caught meeting up, a lot of bad things would happen. So all the other like gods in the sky or whatever would have to report it if they happen to see anything of that sort happening. And and no one no one likes it when that happens. Nobody nobody likes that at all. Okay, everyone was just sad. <laughs> and to help emphasize this, because the king did not trust his daughter to not sneak it anyway, he forced the cow herder to go very far away and go live on like a different different part of the sky. Like he couldn't even live in the same part of the sky. He had to go herd his cows way far away. They were not allowed anywhere near each other. And that was just very, very, very sad for all of them. So, oh no. And so of course they cried. They cried a lot. They actually ended up crying so much that a river developed in between where they were, all right? So there was like this whole river of tears that, that showed up just because they... Are you coming after? Don't do it. And I said don't do it. Well, she ended up crying so much that her father was like, hey, okay, you guys can see each other once a year and that's it, but you can't fall in love with them or anything. And, you know, she that was a little bit happy, but they were just so distraught that they, they'd already ended up crying a full river in between each other so even if they wanted to meet each other they literally could not there was there was no chance because there's this giant gigantic humongous river separating everyone in existence let's put that on yeah i don't mean to do that i hit the wrong button and they didn't quite realize how bad it was how big the river was until they actually did get to try to meet up and and lo and behold guess what was in the way their own tears and this just made them cry more the perfect solution to all your problems of crying cry more and that's what they did they cried a whole bunch they actually cried so much that wait hold on can i yoink all of this i can yoink all of this i'm running away now Nobody can stop me. That's empty. This is nothing left in it. Where's the other guy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I love you. Oh, you got strength. I don't want... No! No! They saw each other from across the river and just burst into tears even more because they're like, now there's no shot for us to meet up with each other because literally there's a river of tears in the way. How are we supposed to, how are we supposed to do anything anymore and be happy and satisfied with our lives? And the answer was, you just, you just couldn't be. You were gonna, you were just gonna be sad and alone forever. A bunch of other gods and goddesses and like star constellations and were begging the father, the king of the heavens. They were like, please, please let them see each other again. We're worried that everyone on the on the in in the heavens will like die because you just, you know, you, you didn't want your uh, daughter to marry this cow herder. Um, and he refused because he is a terrible human being. And because no one was willing to like fight with the king over this, they were just kind of waiting for the heavens to flood and they were hoping that these two people would just stop being so sad it didn't it didn't really work uh so the magpies a bunch of magpies who were concerned about the well-being of their entire like livelihood they decided they would be the responsible ones in this scenario and they were gonna take care of it themselves and so what they did yeah wanna hear about magpies but yeah I was, we could have been buddies. We could have been friends. We could have been friends. No magpies for you. <laughs> I could have attacked.
attacked him and I didn't just because I wanted to tell them about magpies. The magpies took it upon themselves though and they end up creating this big bridge. That way these two lovers could meet each other again, okay? They were, they were the solution every single person in existence wishes they were. The magpies were on point. They were like, no, 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 no. We need to fix this. There is an issue here. And then they did. They did fix it. Hi. Nope. Nope. Whoa, what's your leg? That's something. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh boy. Ah, ah. The magpies ended up forming a nice enough bridge for the two lovers to be able to meet. And then because they wanted to forever let these lovers um, meet, that way they didn't have like repeat incidents. What they decided to do was like, uh, they became the stars and the constellations. And that's why, that's why... I am not slow at anything. Yeah, stuff. And yeah, the magpies formed like that forever, and that's why we have this set of stars that goes over over this belt. I, I really want to say it's the Milky Way, but I feel like that's also wrong, and if I'm super wrong, someone's going to yell at me, and they're going to be like, Seaworm, Seaworm, you suck. You can't remember anything, and then I'm going to be sad. Did I... I, I did make this. I, I knew I would make this. I'm so smart. Yes, intelligence level a million. Um, and yeah, well, after after all of that, no one was like sad anymore. And and that was that was fine and dandy. And yeah. No, no. Why would you do this? I also hate this map, by the way. This map sucks. This map is just absolutely horrible because the first person who gets over here gets, like, all of the good stuff. Like, all of it. And that's just, uh... This is overpowered. I have I have all the good things now. I have everything good. This is what happens. You just, you just end up getting everything that's good. And that's it. That's it. That's, uh... This is why this map sucks, by the way. This map is just absolutely horrible. And you didn't die. You didn't die. I have no kills and I, I own the middle. I own everything that's good ever. And I didn't even do anything. I don't have a bow. That's one thing I don't have. They offered me a bunch of things, but not a bow. But yeah, the magpie stayed like that forever. Everyone was happy. Uh, that's the series of bridges. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty. I'm, I really am sure it's from the Milky Way, but I could be like completely wrong. And if I am wrong, then then sucks to be me, I guess. That's OK. I got you. All right. I think you're the only one left. GG. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think that's a solid ending to this story so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye